So let me tell you guys about my first VA appointment. For those of you guys who do not know, my name is Shini. I recently separated from the Air Force and I am 0% service connected, but I was able to get enrolled through the VA. And let me tell you guys about the enrollment process. I am a priority group six and I was categorized in that based on my base pay. And the guy gave me paperwork and the cost, like how much it would cost me, but the paperwork he gave me was a priority group eight. He said it's pretty much the same as a six. So with the eight, it had the cost for per visit and then how much it was gonna cost if it was a specialty clinic and then of course a copay. So I knew, or at least that's what I was told, I was told that I'm, I'm gonna be paying for my medical expenses since I am at 0% disability rating. So after he like enrolled me and everything and gave me the cost and information, he asked if I wanted to make an initial appointment. And of course I said no, <laughs> because um, I had to pay for it. And I ain't trying to pay right now. So I'm waiting for my rating to come through. But a month later, um, I needed to get seen because my knee was acting up, okay? And another thing is I needed to get immunizations for school. Let me tell you guys about my knee. So my knee is hurting so bad. I started working back out. I do a lot of weight lifting. So my knee is like, it's like, I'm trying not to cuss, but it hurts so much. It's messed up. I, it hurts to bend it. It hurts to like even do body weight. Like I barely could even squat weights or leg press like body weight even lunges that that it hurts and it's popping like I it's popping and it's feeling like it's out of place anyway I needed to make an appointment a follow-up appointment with that or my initial appointment because I, I did get seen for that active duty but I definitely needed to follow up so I made my appointment I called the appointment line and they they booked me into the women's center. That's like a veteran women's center. So it w I was able to get seen within a week. It was actually less than a week. It was six days. So when I went to my appointment, it was an hour long. It was like a, just like a physical appointment. And I was able to just address everything. And she wanted to know like a lot of information and i was able to get seen for more than one thing so that's pretty cool so during my appointment she wanted to um, refer me to physical therapy for my knees and um i guess basically like i didn't feel like paying for that you know it's a specialty clinic so i knew it was gonna cost more y'all i'm cheap i'm sorry like i was a military vet, I'd never had to pay for medical. And then I joined the military, I never had to pay for medical. So now that I'm out, I'm still trying not to pay for medical until my rating comes through. But yeah, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna hold off. Like I don't wanna get referred to physical therapy. I know I need it cause my knees jacked up. But um, let me just get these x-rays and hopefully I get an, and definitely an MRI because my knee, bruh, like I need to know what's going on. So, um, so there's that. While she was doing like a physical on me, she uh, looked into my eye. My right eye was like really, really red. It was infected. I knew it was infected. Um, I have lots of, like I always get eye infections easily so she wanted to refer me to an eye doctor and i was like yeah i was like hold up like let me just take some eye drops you know and like you know give it a couple days and it'll go away like i, I don't i'm not trying to get referred right now because i gotta pay for that you know <laughs> so um she I, and i even told her like 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 i told her straight up like i don't know how my the payments are gonna go through like i'm not i'm not sure like what the cost is exactly for the specialty and um 
I'm trying to hold off until my rating comes through and she's like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, um, but she did end up referring me to an eye doctor because I guess it, my eye was really bad. And yeah, she, she did all my like lab work and immunizations and all that. But as I was getting my x-ray, because I was done with my appointment, as I was getting my x-ray, Enrollment center in the woman's center. So I went to speak to this lady who worked there and I was like, hey, I have a question about my cost for like my medical appointments. And because I'm newly enrolled, I don't have a I am zero zero percent disability rating. And I just need to clarify like what my costs are because I was really concerned about the cost for my x-rays, the cost for my co-payments, and the cost for just my medical visits and of course being referred out she's trying my doctor is trying to refer me to different specialty clinics and you know i'm trying to add up all these costs you know and she's she oh my god i'm so glad i talked to her because she told me even though i'm zero percent service connected um i'm able i shouldn't have to pay it depending on my doctor if my doctor's aware that it is service connected or if i do get charged i can fill out paperwork to get reimbursed for all of this once my rating comes through like if i've been seen for my eyes before and i get a rating for that i'm gonna get reimbursed for like whatever i get seen for my eyes or if my knee if i've been diagnosed for my knee while active duty and I'm getting follow-up appointments for my knee, I will get reimbursed for those appointments. And that is so, that's what I needed to hear because the other guy that I spoke with in enrollments when he first enrolled me, he wasn't, he didn't really like know everything. He wasn't really certain. And then the paperwork that he gave me was like a priority eight paperwork which is not the same as a priority six paperwork and i'm actually gonna show you guys the paperwork that was given to me i'm gonna attach it down in the description box but this one is the 2018 co-payment requirements and it shows like each priority group like if they pay for the co-payments if they're in patient care outpatient care and and then of course the medications but basically, I wasn't really told that. I wasn't told that I could get reimbursed for these or anything like that. So actually, the cost isn't even that much if, if I am gonna pay out of pocket. So like an outpatient visit is gonna cost, man, this is like different price than the, than the, guy, than the paperwork the guy gave me. This one says a specialty care is $50 that is not bad at all x-rays zero dollars and then primary care fifteen dollars so anyway just check the description box below if you want to see the 2018 co-payment requirements and costs and also the enrollment priority groups and what are the priority groups and all that stuff in the rating and i will make a follow-up for sure about all this and if I get billed, I'm sure I'm going to get a copay bill for my medications. And hopefully I don't get billed for my appointments. But if I do, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get reimbursed because the things I'm getting seen for are stuff I've been seen for active duty. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Just comment down below. And also, um, if you guys have already experienced this add your experiences down below and that's all i'll keep you guys updated subscribe if you're interested for more content bye i definitely oh god babe I'm gonna put you in FaceTime so you can say hi. No, 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 no. <laughs> I gotta go do something. Baby!